Well, well, well. What do we have here, Scott? That's right, a brand new freaking teaser. Oh my god. Scott's teasers have really been making a comeback recently, and I just honestly could not be happier. So I'll properly put it up on screen right now. Here you guys go. And I want you to take a good look at it, because honestly, when I first saw this, my jaw literally dropped. It was insane. I freaking love the art style right here. I freaking love it. It looks so creepy. I don't really know what's, what model that phone is. It does look a little bit weird in my opinion. But that animatronic stalking us in that back alleyway. Oh my freaking god, that's insane. Alright, so now let's properly get into the discussion in this video and talk about what this teaser means and what it's for. Now, when I first saw this, my initial thought was that it's plus trap, but then I really thought about it and I'm like, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I mean, yeah, it could be teasing plus traps, uh, a rival to FNAF AR. But then, if you really take a close look at that animatronic, it's clearly not Plus Trap at all. It's actually the new dog animatronic that will be appearing in the brand new FNAF short story collection number two in Fetch. If you guys forget what that character looks like, I'll put the cover of the book up on, uh, on the screen right now. And you can just compare the two. They are very, very similar, so I think it's pretty safe to say this is the dog from Fetch. I have a few more pieces of evidence to back this up, um, but please keep in mind, right? I know there has been a preview for Fetch that has been released, and I know I'm pretty late on that. I haven't gone around to reading it yet, which is why I haven't made a video on the preview yet, but I do know just a little bit about what Fetch is about, so I'm gonna- I'm going to, um, spoiler alert, real quick, spoilers, I'm going to briefly explain what Fetch is about. So first up, if you are not aware, Scott released a brand new book series of FNAF called the FNAF Fazbear Frights. This is the first book in the collection called Into the Pit. And in these books, there's actually three stories. For example, in the Into the Pit book, there are three chapters that follow three different characters and their lives. The first one is titled Into the Pit, and it follows Oswald. The second one is To Be Beautiful, and it follows Sarah. And the final one is Count the Ways, and it follows Millie. Or Miley. It's probably, it's probably Miley, actually, in that, now that I think about it. So Fetch is just like this book. It's going to feature three different stories, all from the perspective of three different people. Now, off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly what the stories are, but all you need to know is that the first one in that new short story collection is Fetch, and it features this boy and this dog animatronic. Final spoilers, I'm going to briefly explain what, what Fetch is about. Again, I haven't read the preview, so this is super fast and super quick. So for what I've heard, it's about this boy who, I guess, wanders into a back alley, and he finds a phone. And this phone has a feature that allows the boy to control an animatronic. This animatronic, clearly being the dog animatronic, who, as far as I'm aware, doesn't have a name yet. Again, I haven't read the preview, but people are calling him Sparky, so... Yeah, I, th I think it fits, you know, it's also a reference to um, f the uh, FNAF 1 Easter Egg in the Parts and Service Room. Plus, it's a typical dog name, so for right now, I'm gonna call him Sparky. And this phone allows this boy to control Sparky's movements. Now, honestly, that's all I know. I know, I said it was gonna be super quick and super brief, and I really, really, really want to read the preview, and I'm going to get around to that, and I'll make a video about it very shortly. But for right now, that's all I know. I apologize. Also, please no spoilers for Fetch if you have read the preview in the comments. Please don't spoil it for me or for anyone else. You can leave your thoughts and opinions on the teaser in the book, but please no spoilers, alright? Thanks. Something that is really interesting to me is that the book doesn't come out for another, like, two months. Its release date is March the 3rd of 2020, so... Why Scott is teasing it right now, I'm not really sure. What I hope is going to happen is that Scott is going to release more images of these chapters in the new short story books over the course of, uh, of, of time until they release. Also, while I'm here, I do have the three names of the characters in the Fetch book. It's Greg, Alec, and Oscar. And for those who want a little bit more, the brief summary for the actual Fetch storyline is Greg decides to put the controversial science he's been studying to the test. 
and that's it. Now the dog does have a name tag, but I can't quite make it out. That's why we're not entirely sure on the name of this character. But we do know now that the boy's name is Greg, so there's that. How Greg gets into this situation, how he uses the phone, and what interactions he has with the dog. Again, I'm not entirely sure on, though I will link a preview to the book. As long as you guys promise not to spoil anything. It is our tradition to go through these previews and theorize about it, so I'm waiting until I can read it and then I'll make a video about it. I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but the cover for the fourth Fazbear's Fright book has been revealed, and honestly, it's been out for a pretty long time, but it really wasn't worth making a video on its own about it. So here it is, it's got Foxy on the cover, and it's called Step Closer. So clearly it's gonna be about Foxy. And I remember there was a title reveal for the fifth and final book. There's gonna be a total of five books in this collection, though I can't remember what it's called. All right, I found it. So the fifth book in the Fazbear Fright collection is going to be called Bunny Call. Maybe some bunny animatronic like Bonnie, Springtrap, maybe even Glittertrap if we're lucky. Maybe Vanny, cause their mask is a bunny. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. But that is really it. This teaser is kind of self-explanatory, I do just want to make a proper video going over it, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.